I'm here with head women's basketball coach Katie Vaughn. Coach Vaughn, first thing first, you guys are coming in the back home this weekend with seven straight wins. Talk a little bit about what's been going right for you guys during that stretch. You know, I think it's just consistency through players. We're playing a lot of the same kids. They've developed their roles. They know what um, they have to do to stay on the floor and be successful. Um, you know, it was a tough road trip going up to Parkside Lewis. It always is just from a traveling standpoint, but to get two wins and come home with those was huge. Um, obviously, Lewis is one of the top teams in the um, conference. Uh, we were down quite a bit, 18 at one point in that game, and to fight back. And, you know, we just talk about our habits that we've um, – kind of just instilled in them in the process of what we start six months ago and in preseason work through mistakes play through things um, stay together uh, and when you see things kind of the wheels start to fall off you hope that they get back to those habits that we've we we hope we've created through the process and and that's kind of something we talked about this week through practice is that's how you got back in that game and that's how you want to you know a big road trip and and in the seven games in general so every game has its ups and downs but just you know staying the course and following what going back to those habits and the process we've we've developed so you're coming back home starting Thursday night. You've got four of your last six games at home where technically you're 8-1, and one, but in the Mark Twain building, you're 8-0. No. How advantageous is that for you guys to play a majority of your games at home the rest of the way? You know, we do. We have a great ending schedule. Our travel's awesome. I mean, our, we go to Maryville and we go to McHenry. Other than that, we are home. So uh, that's what we talk. We're going to take it one game at a time. But, um, you know, as a coach, you look forward and you go, you know, it's it's there for the taking. You just hope you can get your kids to to believe in the fact that they got to come and, and show up and, and and compete every night. And if you get down, you fight. If you get up, you, you keep fighting. So, um, again, it's, it's going to be great to be home. Uh, the girls are obviously getting back into the swing of school, and so that's nice. They can sl sleep in their own beds, go to classes. Um, so, yeah, everything is lined out the way we need it to be. Um, now we just got to, again, get them to believe that they've got to bring it mentally and bring that focus and then just go to work, you know, every Thursday and Saturday from here on out. Talk a little bit about your game Thursday night. You guys are take partaking in the lace up for cancer how did that come about um you guys have normally done the pink out game or play for k whatever but this year you're kind of mixing it up you know yeah we, that's women's basketball does the play for k and it's obviously a strong group and you know does its thing and we've done things here to to support that it just hasn't done anything great um the support and just with things and we've had a couple girls that have had family members affected by this i have some great friends that have been affected by it and i have two little kids my assistant has a little uh kid so kind of just a little bit hits home um in different respects and just thought we'd bring a you know a different view on what maybe we can raise some funds for and and go help people in the community and I, we we have a nursing student we have a secondary ed student and just kind of to show them a different life you know we all grow up and have a different path and travel a different road to get where we are but um letting them see maybe that life isn't so great for everybody and 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 kids especially go through things and so to help them maybe see a different side of things and and raise some funds to help help them get through it you know obviously the little bit we're going to raise isn't going to cure cancer um, but we went to the pediatric cancer center yesterday and saw what the funds will go to with helping just resources where they can continue schooling get therapy just play games um, play with race cars just you know batteries you know just little things that they need to make their time while they're doing treatments go a little bit smoother so um, I thought the girls uh, took it in very well it hit them kind of you know just actually see it and see a couple patients was um, Hit the, it pulled at their heartstrings a little bit, and, and and again, that's just something we want to help them develop as people and um, understanding that life isn't always, you know, roses and rainbows. So I think that w w the experience has been good for all, for all of them. And you guys will have a special guest at the game Thursday night, um, seven year old that has had cancer. Talk a little bit about what that'll mean to have her sitting on the bench with you guys. You know, when we started this process, we were hoping to kind of adopt a family through this we started back in September kind of going through this and it's it's not that easy as we found out so uh, we're happy to um, we haven't met them yet but to meet them tomorrow night and present a check to them but moving forward we hope to next year adopt a family and go visit with them and 
uh, kind of become let them become one of us and and part of our family and let the girls become you know build a relationship with that family so um, I think it'll be great but in the future I look to hopefully we can do a little more and, and get a little more invested in the family but we're excited to have them here um, and present that check and give her a little experience of sitting on the bench and kind of enjoying you know some fun she likes sports and um, so we'll see but the girls are excited to to uh, have her on the bench good well hopefully she will continue to be a good luck charm for you guys and we wish you good luck this weekend thanks a lot Marion